Here I am in my vanilla Windows 10 machine, and I'm going to teach you how to go download the Lua interpreter and install it on a Windows machine. And also, I want to teach you how to install Visual Studio Code and configure Visual Studio Code so you can compile and execute your Lua scripts from within Visual Studio Code. OK, so let's get this going. The first thing we're going to go is we're going to open our web browser. We're going to visit lua.org, which is the official Pucarillo Lua page. And right here, we're going to jump to download. And I'm not interested in downloading the source code of Lua or anything. What I want is, here it says, if you don't have the time or the inclination to compile Lua yourself, get a binary. And that is what we're going to get. We're going to go get a binary. And right here in this page, we're going to visit the download link on the left. And if you are following this video, chances are that you want this Lua 535 Win64, which is the 64-bit version for Windows. So click here. It's going to take us to a SourceForge page. And as soon as it's done, you just wait for a bit. We're going to see here the download completed. Perfect. So right here, we downloaded this zip file. Let's show this in the folder. And let's minimize this one. So perfect. Now we have the zip file right here. All I'm going to do is I'm going to extract the contents of the zip file. And I'm going to extract right here. And here we are. These are the important files that we need, right? So do you see this Lua 5.3 right here? This is the Lua interpreter, the thing that is going to parse and interpret the Lua scripts that we want. So the way that I like to do things is I like to just go back to my folder. So this is the folder that we just extracted. I like to rename this name. So let me just rename this folder to simply Lua to make things simpler. And now that this thing's just called Lua, I right click, I copy. And I personally like to go to the local disk C and paste it right here. So now in my local disk C, what we have is this Lua folder that inside has all those important files that I need, including, of course, the Lua53.exe, the executable of the Lua. OK, so the way that we execute this Lua interpreter is we need to use the command prompt. We need to use the terminal. We are going to come here. We're going to open the command prompt, so cmd. Execute the command prompt. So here we have our Windows famous command prompt. So the thing is, if we just say Lua, Windows doesn't know what that means. And if we say Lua 5.3, Lua still doesn't know what we're talking about. Of course, because we haven't set up the Windows environment variables, so Windows know where to look for the executables of Lua. So what we have to do is we have to come to the settings of the operating system. We can look for environment variable. So edit the system environment variable. Right, and right here in this page, we have this environment variables option. Here in the environment variables, these system variables are the ones that I'm interested in. So right here in the system variables, I'm interested in the path one. So this one right here, I want to edit. Right, so we're going to edit this path environment variable. And do you see how it has all these things? I want to add a new one. As soon as I click new one, I am free to go and type C colon backslash Lua. So from now on, Windows is going to look in this path right here if you want to look for executables as well. OK, so if we try to do this thing, Still nothing, but we have to exit the command prompt. And if we open the command prompt again, now if we try to execute Lua 5.3, perfect. Now we have the Lua interpreter running. So I can just hello world, and Lua is running and parsing things correctly. To go back to the command prompt, os.exit, and we're back. Oh, good. But the thing is, of course, we don't want to always use the common prompt on Windows, right? I don't want to always enter the common prompt to go and execute my Lua scripts. So what we're going to do is this. 
we're going to come to the web browser again and we're going to visit just search for visual studio code this right here is the official page code.visualstudio.com and all you have to do is come and download for windows and install visual studio code just download next 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 finish and you will have a fresh installation of visual studio code in your machine i already downloaded i already installed so i don't have to do that all i need to do is come here and execute my visual studio code This window right here is the initial page of Visual Studio Code. I don't care about this welcome layout. What you can do is you can come to File and you can add a folder to this workspace. And by selecting a folder, all we can do is we can come here to our system and we can select a folder in our system where we want to add our Lua scripts, right? So all the Lua files that we want to start coding, let's just create a new folder for them. So I think I already have one here, right? So this Lua course files, this is the folder that I want to add. And right now here on the left, you can see that I have my folder, Lua course files, and I already had saved before something called myscript.lua. So here, this myscript.lua, this file contains a simple Lua instruction, right? And if by any chance I want to add something else, print, Let's say, let's do some mathematics, right? So five times three. And also print, thank you. Right, so these are three Lua instructions that are going to print in the terminal the result of these expressions. You can save, or can just press Ctrl S to save. So what I really want to do is, I don't want to go to the common prompt to execute my Lua interpreter. I want to configure Visual Studio Code so I can just press to build this little Lua script that I have, and I want to see the result inside Visual Studio Code as well. So the way that we're going to do this is, you can come to Terminal, Run Build Task. So we're going to create a new build task inside Visual Studio Code. And you see that Visual Studio Code is saying, sorry, no build tasks to run found. Configure build task. That is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to configure a new build task. And it's asking again create tasks.json file from template. Yes, create from template. We don't want any of these things right here. What we want is others. Right, so pay attention to what happened. In our folder, right, our workspace, Visual Studio Code created something called tasks.json. And this tasks.json is this thing right here. It's the configuration of how we want to build our task or how we want to build our Lua files. I already added in the resources of the course, there is something called tasks.json with the content that you have to copy and paste inside this file for it to run the Lua code correctly. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything, delete. So this thing right here that I'm going to paste, this is the code that you need to run this task right here. I'm calling it run Lua, it's just the name of the task. I'm going to use the shell and I'm going to run the command Lua53 using the file that is open in the editor. And that is it, right? This is the gist of it. Save this task.json, close it. And right now, if we open our myscript.lua right here, right, our little Lua script file, and if you come now to terminal and you click on run build task, or even better, if you press control shift B, so control shift B, you will see the Visual Studio Code just open a new console window right here in the terminal and it says, hello world, 15, thank you. This is our Lua script being executed using the Lua interpreter, right? The Lua 5 tree. And that's it. Now, if you want to come here and add something else, so let's create something called name equals Gustavo and print name. Save, Control Shift B to build. Now we can see here, hello world, thank you, Gustavo. A lot easier, right? So that's it. That is the whole idea of using Visual Studio Code, executing this task inside Visual Studio, 
to interpret our Lewis script, and then we can just go ahead, add new lines, and it's a lot easier for us instead of just going and using the command prompt. Sounds good? Just one little small detail, if it doesn't work, I want you to pay attention right here. Maybe Visual Studio Code will try to run things using PowerShell. I don't want to run using PowerShell. I want the normal CMD, right? We want to execute things with the vanilla command prompt of Windows. Okay, so like I said, it's a little bit more difficult than just installing things on Linux or on Mac OS, right? This is the nature of Windows. Everything is a little bit more difficult. But I think that using Visual Studio Code and then using the Lua interpreter, the official Lua 5.3 interpreter, is a lot easier to go, add new files, build them. All right, so let's say that I close this script right here and let's, on this folder, create a new file called test2.lua. Right, so this test2.lua, there's nothing. I can come here and I can do now final test. Save this file, Control shift b to build, and you can see the result being outputted right here. This is the proof that our task is working inside Visual Studio Code, and we are using the Lua interpreter to go and execute the lines of our script right here. All right, so let me know in the comments what you think about this video. And remember, if you want a full Lua course, you can visit picuma.com, and I'll be extremely happy to see you there as well.